Hello YouTube people, it's Jason from FL Designs. Sorry it's been a while, I've had a lot of stuff going on personally. Uh, my Dodge Ram decided to give me some issues. I had to have my solenoid pack replaced, which I did myself. That was so much fun. Then I needed to take my bumper off and sand it and grind it down to get all the rust off and repaint it. That is done. Next will be, in the next week or two, I'll be getting some tires from my truck for winter, because winter is coming real fast here in Wisconsin. But anyhow, today's video, I'm going to show you 3 8 inch thick cast acrylic sheets. I'm going to cut out of this material two wine bottle holders that sell on Etsy. Everybody makes them. Mine's a little different design than everybody else, but that's fine. I'm going to make them for uh, templates. So you can put these on top of the wood, and you can use your router and your router table to router out and use a flush edge trim, flush edge trim router bit with the, the bearing on here that will cut it perfectly to shape once I have those templates cut out. So also on a side note, just to put it out there, we are at 280 subscribers. We have not hit 500 subscribers yet and still trying to get there. So if you know anybody else who likes videos, especially ones with the one Finney CNC machine, please uh send them over to the channel tell them that they can win, win a free router and watch some videos and understand how the machine works or how cncs work in general and get a little bit of information and just see uh products that people make i mean i'm not the only one out there there's a lot of them i'm a very small fish in a large ocean but anyhow i'm going to be cutting this with an eighth inch spectra coated all flute bit it is expensive. I do not recommend beginners getting that bit because you have to get your speeds and feeds correct or else you will break the bit real easily. And it was about $48 for that bit. So any beginners, go to Amazon. Buy theirs the, in like 5 and 10 packs sometimes. Just in case you break one, you know, you adjust your code and keep doing that until you get the speeds right. So without further ado, let's get this machine set up. Let's get this material set up. Let's go ahead and cut this thing so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm back. I got the tape on the back side, the double sided tape. It is the Sure tape on Amazon. I believe it was like $16, $17 for this roll, but I've been using this a lot and this thing is, hasn't even gotten a dent in it yet for how much I've used. But works great. Um, very strong. Holds up very, very well. Does not let the piece move at all. All right, I got the machine zeroed out. I got it also set to, to the center of my material. I'll show you my little crosshairs. I also set the, the Z height with my probe, so I got the correct height. I also did cut 0 .001 inches deeper to make sure it goes through the acrylic, but not through the sheet, so it shouldn't even leave a mark on my board. But let's go ahead and. Uh, let it go and then I'll talk to you afterwards about uh, feeds and speeds and other stuff I guess. So let's go. Actually let's do it without dust collection. Let you watch it.
there's there's the cut. So I got two wine bottle glass holders. Put the wine bottle in the center. You can put a glass on each side and it holds it. It's a cute little thing that people like. Now this is just a template so you can make them real fast on wood instead of using a scroll saw. If you don't have a CNC, I mean, people still make stuff the old school way with woodworking, which is great. And they all use jigs. Because when they make one, they want to be able to repeat them over and over and over. So I'll take this off. And if you notice, cut through. It didn't even cut the paper on the other side. See that? It just tore away. Another one, see? Didn't even go through the paper. Now I'm kind of a pack rat. I will keep all these pieces because you never know when you need something small. These little skinny ones, yeah, I'll get rid of them. But these, I need to have any kind of size to them. They're still good. You can double side tape them down and cut something small out of them. Well worth keeping them because this acrylic is really expensive. So, to cut these, like I said, I use an eighth inch, a monotool, spectra coated, old flute. I believe it was a down cut, but if you look at it, it's pretty smooth. A little jag, but I can do a little light sanding like they say they can, and then uh, hit it with heat treatment, and it'll be crystal clear. Now, this is a template, so once I get it smooth, I'm not worried about it being crystal clear. So, pretty nice. Let me go ahead and peel the rest of this off. And there's your template out of acrylic cast beautiful you can I can barely twist this it doesn't even deflect that much a little bit where it's open but in the center I can't get the bowl barely so very strong heavy-duty stuff I recommend it and if you like check out my Etsy page which is listed below I sell these about $30 each and you think that's a lot of money well once you have this you can make a hundred of, of these and it costs you 30 bucks for the template I mean in one night you could do 10 no problem so if you 10 of those and you sell these for 25 bucks 20 bucks online that's $200 so whatever your cost in wood is and time just cutting it out that's it now like I said before you can use a router table with this you can use just a router a palm router or if you want a plunge router that works too and doing the outside you use the flush mount trim bit and if you're doing it the opposite direction I don't know exactly what they're called but the bearings on the other sides between the shaft and the actual blades the, the flutes so doing that you can plunge down and have the bearing hit on the inside and cut out a depth if you want now other people will just use a sander to take a pencil and mark it and then that hole is one inch I believe or one no actually it's 1.375 inch diameter sorry so you just get a hole saw that's 1.375 and drill it out or you can saw, jigsaw it out whatever you want scroll saw and you can drill a hole and put the scroll saw in either way so check out my next video it will be showing using this to make one of these products to sell online. And then I may show you too on Etsy how I set up all my postings. Peace.